When you think of top Hollywood actors, the first things that come to mind are the movies they've been in, their world-class talents, and in some cases at least, their superstar good looks. Things that don't tend to spring to mind are hardcore criminal acts like assault, theft, and drug dealing. But a surprisingly high number of actors have fallen afoul of the law for offenses like those. Some of the most talented, versatile, funniest, and well-known actors of recent times have been in trouble for doing the kinds of things that don't exactly make them role models. Granted, in pretty much all the cases listed in this video, the actors in question turn their lives around for the better, and prove themselves to be decent human beings. But you can't simply delete a criminal past. On that note, here are 10 amazing actors who committed horrible crimes. I am Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr. He's now one of the most successful, popular, and highly paid actors on the planet, but his career took a major downturn back in the late 90s, after a succession of drug-related convictions that ended up with the actor in jail. He was sentenced to three years in the California Substance Abuse Treatment Facility in state prison in 1999, but he was released just a year after, having proven that he had rehabilitated himself, although he did relapse with a further two drug arrests a year later. Having previously starred in movies like Chaplin, Natural Born Killers, and Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, Downey Jr. is currently most famous for his flagship role as Iron Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. As long as you're not at the scene of the crime, smoking gun in your hand. Christian Slater. There was a time when some people would say that, quite frankly, Christian Slater needed Jesus. The true romance star was arrested and convicted for a number of crimes in the late 80s and 90s. In 1989, he spent 10 days in jail for drunk driving and assault. In 1994, he was given community service for trying to board a plane with a loaded gun in his luggage. And in 1997, he was convicted of assaulting both his ex-girlfriend, Michelle Jonas, and a police officer while under the influence of drugs and alcohol. Most recently, he was charged with third-degree sexual abuse in 2007 for harassing a woman on the street. These days, he's probably best known for his TV work, and has appeared and provided voices for shows like Archer, Mr. Robot, and The Lion Guard. There are things in this world that are just out of our control. Kiefer Sutherland. The 24 star has been in trouble with the law a few times, most notably on four occasions for driving under the influence of alcohol. His first DUI was in 1999, and most recently he spent 48 days in jail for a DUI in 2007, a stint that was split into two periods so that he could continue filming 24 in between. Sutherland was also in trouble in 2009 for headbutting fashion designer Jack McCullough, although the charges for this were ultimately dropped. Sutherland has starred in movies like Stand By Me, The Lost Boys, A Few Good Men, and Pompeii during his time as an actor. Who's the man? Huh? Who's the man? Will Smith. With one of the most clean-cut images in Hollywood, you'd be hard-pressed to believe that there has ever been a bad bone in Will Smith's body. However, back in 1989, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was supposedly involved in a violent crime. Smith was arrested after being involved in an altercation so ferocious that record promoter William Hendricks was almost blinded. He was charged with aggravated assault, recklessly endangering another person, simple assault, and criminal conspiracy, and spent the night in a cell. However, the charges were later dismissed and Smith, who has gone on to star in movies movies like Independence Day, Men in Black, and Ali, denies the crime completely, blaming the friends he was with instead. Woody Harrelson Cheer star Woody Harrelson is such a nice guy that it's hard to imagine him getting in trouble with the law, but he actually has been on several occasions. He was arrested in 1982 for disorderly conduct after dancing in the middle of the street and subsequently charged with resisting arrest. In 1996, he was accused of cultivating marijuana, although he was acquitted of that charge. After that, in 2002, he was arrested after an incident in a taxi ended in a full-blown police chase. And in 2006, he assaulted a photographer, resulting in a 2008 lawsuit being filed against him. Thankfully, these these days, he's better known for appearing in movies like Zombieland, Friends with Benefits, Seven Psychopaths, and the Hunger Games series. They bought it. Matthew Broderick. Back in 1987, a year after filming the iconic Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Matthew Broderick was vacationing in Ireland with his then-girlfriend Jennifer Grey, whom he had met on that movie. While driving a rented BMW, Broderick forgot he was in Ireland and ended up driving on the wrong side of the road. He slammed straight into an oncoming Volvo, killing 28-year-old Anna Gallagher and her 63-year-old mother Margaret Dorothy on impact. Broderick suffered a few injuries, but ultimately was only charged $175 for careless driving, a punishment that the family of the two victims has called a travesty of justice. He's since gone on to star in movies like Godzilla, The Producers, and The Lion King, in which he voiced the adult Simba. Mark Wahlberg Former pop star Mark Wahlberg comes across as a nice guy and something of an endearing cheeky chappy. 
but he actually has quite a checkered past, having previously been addicted to illegal drugs and charged with racially abusing some African American children. His most notable charge was for attempted murder, for which he spent 45 days in prison. It was 1987, and a 16-year-old Wahlberg attacked two Vietnamese men in what was another racially aggravated attack. Wahlberg hit one of the men with a wooden stick and punched the other in the face, and he even started shouting racial slurs and swearing at them. He's since reformed dramatically and has appeared in successful movies like Boogie Nights, Planet of the Apes, and Ted. Tim Allen who could possibly believe this? In 1978, prior to his acting career, comedy star Tim Allen, real name Tim Allen Dick, was arrested for drug trafficking. He was caught with over 650 grams of cocaine in his possession and pled guilty to the crime, but only ended up having to serve two years and four months in jail, instead of the life sentence that he was originally given. These days, Allen is best known for starring in sitcoms, Home Improvement, and Last Man Standing, and for appearing in movies like the Santa Claus trilogy, Galaxy Quest, and Wild Hogs, and of course, for being the voice of Buzz Lightyear in the Toy Story trilogy. Going down Broadway is a one-way street, whichever way I go. Matthew McConaughey. Before meeting his wife, Brazilian model Camila Alves, Matthew McConaughey openly admits to having been something of a wild and reckless guy. He drank heavily and used all manner of illegal drugs, which culminated in his arrest back in 1999. His neighbor heard commotion in his home and called the police. When the cops arrived, they found him playing the bongos naked with marijuana and various other drugs lying around. Although he was later released because the police didn't have a warrant when they entered his home, the night he consequently spent in the cells was a turning point for the actor. Since then, he started hit movies like Magic Mike, The Wolf of Wall Street, Dallas Buyers Club, and Interstellar. Paul Walker the late Paul Walker, who passed away tragically in a high-speed car crash in 2013, faced felony charges back when he was 18 years old. Although the crime in question remains undisclosed, Walker did maintain that it didn't involve hurting anybody, however, but we'll probably never know exactly what it did involve. That being said, while Walker was still alive, some people called for him to be charged with statutory rape, as he began dating his girlfriend Jasmine Pilchard Gosnell when he was 33 and she was just 16. Walker starred in movies like Varsity Blues, She's All That, and timeline, but he's best known for his roles in the Fast and Furious movies. Thanks for watching our list of 10 amazing actors who committed horrible crimes. Did you know about any of these? Which other criminal actors are you aware of? Let us know in the comments section below and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this one.